Next to go, Evan Lysacek of the U.S. coming off a silver medal at Skate America. Much has changed for him, as Peter Carruthers tells us. This is the first time that Evan Lysacek is competing with his new program to Carmen. Coach Frank Carroll says the obvious thing that can happen is that Evan will go out there and be so focused on the jumps, the choreography might take a back seat. He doesn't want to see that happen. He wants to see Evan have expression and really bring character to the music. As far as Evan's concerned, look for the last 30 seconds of his program. That's where he really wants to explode and have a very strong finish. So for Evan Lysacek, he hopes to be an athlete and an artist all at the same time. And Paul, he ditched the grease number, and now he's got Carmen, which obviously is a famous one in figure skating, the Battle of the Carmens, Debbie Thomas and right. Katerina Witt back in Calgary at the Olympics. Do you like the switch? I do. From these opening movements, you can see Evan is connected with this music. His whole body is at work. His head, his upper body, and the stretch of his legs. This mid-season replacement is risky. He opens here with a triple X, triple toe loop, very strong. Evan, too, has struggled with some hip issues. He had stress fracture in his hip last summer. And it was this jump here that was causing him a lot of pain. Triple axle. He's suffering from hip problems here, as a matter of fact. And says it's from working on a certain kind of sit spin. Normally we hear of hip problems from the landing on the jumps, but with Evan, it's because of his spins. Right, it's that change of edge on the back sit spin where you're really stretching out your glutes and your obliques to twist and turn over that inside edge. Remember, he needs a gold or a silver medal here to make the Grand Prix final, and he started the free skate in third. The longer lines of this program so much more suited to Evan skating than Greece, which was very kind of finger snapping and fun. Second triple axle into a combination. Very smooth, but that curve he does a small curve afterwards, which is not necessarily the quality of some of the other triple axles you might see. into this triple Uts. An interesting reverse Wally jump. Difficult. And the last three jumps have been in the second half of the program, so they get a 10% bonus. Strategically backloading the program, Evan gets more points. This is that 30 seconds Peter was talking about that he wants to explode. And a 
press conference after the short program. He said he's been working so much on this long program that he sort of neglected his short. It's paying off, definitely. This is the kind of first run through you really want to have. Well, by far the most prepared American man in the Grand Prix series, Evan did two triple axles and showed off a, a new program that I think is very Olympic. It's a much more powerful program, an emotional program, isn't it, than Greece? Yes, absolutely. And the lines suit him. I like the use of his upper body and his head. Started off with a strong triple-triple combination. This worth 10.0 points. Evan's style is very tight rotation and more of a lateral jump. The triple axle double toe after the second half of the program gets a bonus. Again, that circular landing here a little bit of an issue. The spin here, he loses it a little bit on the set up there. Difficult back to front change there in a cannonball position. Each of those positions could be held longer. He could twist his body to get more points. One of his coaches, Frank Carroll, now in the kiss and cry. 20-year-old, originally from Naperville, Illinois. Tackling uh, famous figure skating music, Carmen. 213.55, and that is a personal best score for Evan Lysacek under the new system. There's your leader, Lysacek could be on his way to the Grand Prix Final. We'll have to wait and see. The Japanese men are still to come.